A scare at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Passengers showing symptoms of a mysterious illness that is spreading from China. Those passengers were on a plane that arrived this evening from China. They were examined by health officials after they showed symptoms of coronavirus. As Tom Durian shows us, it was a false alarm, but they are taking no chances. Now that O'Hare has been added to that list of United States airports, they are taking extra precautions here. And as they are on high alert, passengers on a flight from Shanghai tell us two people were removed for feeling ill. The airline, they told us like there's two people sick and they need to um, go down the plane first. Guy Shi arrived at O'Hare tonight on a United Airlines flight from Shanghai, China. The airline says two people showing signs of illness were met by health officials after the flight. Late tonight, word that it appears to have been a false alarm, but officials are not taking any chances. Later this week, beginning screening for all travelers originating in Wuhan, China. Really, this is... This is a focused, you know, proactive response to make sure that these particular travelers um, are getting appropriate screening. Travelers from Wuhan will be funneled through the five U.S. airports doing the increased screening. Chicago officials believe they will see hundreds of passengers in the months to come, but urge travelers not to panic. We don't have recommendations for general airport staff or for travelers uh, to be wearing any particular, you know, masks or gloves. Any passenger deemed to be showing symptoms of the virus will not be transported through the airport, but rather to a waiting ambulance and hospital. Xiaolin Hu waited for her parents who were arriving from Shanghai. They told her they were screened for general flu symptoms as the flight left China. They have to go through the screening process after they take off and take, uh, make sure you don't have fever or cough or those kind of sickness. Precautions to keep the deadly virus from spreading in the U.S. We need to make sure we are safe here in the U.S. At Chicago's O'Hare Airport, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. The coronavirus is a new illness and in the same family as the SARS, which killed hundreds of people during an outbreak nearly 20 years ago. The coronavirus outbreak started last month in China. It is now linked to nine deaths there. Symptoms range from runny nose, a cough and pneumonia. It can spread from person to person and there is no specific treatment. Today, the CDC announced the first ever known case in the U.S., a man in Washington returning from a trip to China.